welcome you all in this educational video of NIOS. We are doing subject political science. Code number is 317. This video is for senior secondary level. We are doing lesson number 11. Name of the lesson is Parliament of India. This video is part 5. The functions and powers of the Indian Parliament can be divided into all these. Point number one, you can say, as legislative power. You can see on screen, on the left side, it is legislative power. Second is executive power. Third is financial power and fourth is miscellaneous power. We will discuss in detail. Now you can see the first one which is legislative functions. It is one of the important power. Let us understand in points. Point number one. Parliament is a law-making body. Point number two. There are three lists. First is union list. The second is the state list. And the third is concurrent list. Point number three. Only parliament can make laws on the subject mentioned in the union list and it has 97 subjects so these are all different subjects on which law can be make these are all different subjects on which we can make different laws point number four parliament is empowered to make laws on the concurrent list along with state legislature. Point number five. The central law prevails upon the state law if there is a clash between the two. Point number six, any subject not mentioned in any list that is residuary powers are vested with the parliament. We have understood the legislative powers. Now this is the second executive function. Let us now understand powers of executive functions. Point number one. In parliamentary system of government, there is a close relationship between executives and the legislature. Point number two. The Prime Minister and his Council of Ministers are responsible to the Parliament individually as well as collectively. Point number three. The Parliament can dislodge a ministry by passing a vote of no confidence but they are done in extreme cases.
Point number four, the parliament also exercises control over the executive through several motions like adjournment motions which are of recent matters of urgent public importance. Point number five, the Lok Sabha can express its lack of confidence in the executive by disapproving budget or money bill or even an ordinary bill. Point number six, the members of parliament can ask questions and supplementary questions regarding any matter connected with the affairs of the central government. In the first hour of every working day of parliament, Point number seven, in question hour, the ministers have to answer the questions raised by the members. Point number eight, if members are not satisfied with the government's answer, then they may demand separate discussion on the subject. Thank you.